This program is brought to you by PennyMac TPO. Visit tpo.pennymac.com to learn more about becoming a partner and starting your journey to greatness. With the people, products, and technology to take you there, it's why they say at PennyMac, greatness lives here. Welcome to The Interest. I'm Sarah Wolak. Mortgage rates continue to surge, and this morning, NBA President Bob Brokesmith blamed the Federal Reserve for its aggressive efforts to curb inflation. We'll have more on how far rates have climbed, but first, the instability in the market has led another mortgage company to downsize. This time, it's Finance of America, which is in talks to sell its retail operation to guaranteed rate. The company is also shutting down its wholesale division. The two sides have agreed to a letter of intent, but have not yet finalized the terms of a deal. A former company employee with FOA tells us that the letter is not binding. Should the deal happen, the letter also says that guaranteed rate would sell fix and flip and reverse mortgages to FOA. The former official spoke with us on a condition of anonymity. FOA has posted losses for three straight quarters and has cut its workforce by 20% this year. The company declined to comment when we reached out. It's not clear if when the company will halt its wholesale operation or when it will stop accepting loan applications. But FOA will be the latest in a growing list of lenders getting out of wholesale altogether, including Loan Depot and Amerisave. In other news, mortgage rates continue to surge, jumping by nearly half a point. The average rate for the 30-year fixed is now at 6.7%, which is up from 6.29 last week. And the 15-year rate continues to approach 6%, which is now at 5.96. As we said, the NBA is blaming the Fed in its aggressive rate hikes. Despite mortgage rates climbing, the NBA still thinks we'll close this year with $1.6 trillion in purchase volume. That's down just slightly from the record $1.9 trillion that we saw last year. Coming up, federal investigators send a message about ending redlining. Don't miss the largest regional mortgage show in the nation. The New England Mortgage Expo returns to Mohegan Sun in Connecticut, January 12th and 13th. See us at www.anymortgageexpo.com. Start your year with the best connections in the industry. Dozens of sessions, scores of exhibitors. It's where success is written every hour. www.anymortgageexpo.com. Welcome back. A New Jersey bank has agreed to pay more than $13 million to settle a federal discrimination complaint. The U.S. Department of Justice says that this is part of its nationwide effort to combat redlining, and this is the third largest settlement in department history. According to the complaint, Lakeland Bank failed to provide mortgage lending services to black and Hispanic customers in the Newark area, including Essex, Somerset, and Union Counties. Lakeland only had branches in majority white areas, and its loan officers did not meet the needs of black or Hispanic borrowers. Under the settlement, Lakeland will put $12 million into a fund for loans for black and Hispanic residents, and they'll spend $750,000 on outreach and $400,000 for community development. Lakeland will also have to open two new branches in communities of color, at least one of those being in Newark. Attorney General Merrick Garland started the DOJ's redlining initiative a year ago, and the department has since announced four settlements totaling $38 million. This includes a $20 million agreement with Trident Mortgage Company in July, the second largest settlement ever for the DOJ. And finally, if you know a young professional who's making big contributions to the mortgage industry, then let us know. We're seeking submissions for our 40 under 40. Nominees must, of course, be 40 years old or younger. Honorees will be selected based on their contributions to the mortgage industry and their impact. Only completed submissions will be considered. The deadline is October 14th. Just go to nmplink.com forward slash 40 under 40, and that's using the number 40. We'll be right back with what's interesting today. This program was brought to you by PennyMac TPO. Visit tpo.pennymac.com to learn more about becoming a partner and starting your journey to greatness. Here's what else is interesting today. Angel Oak Incorporated is changing leadership after suffering losses in two straight quarters. Srini Prabhu replaces Robert Williams as CEO and president. 
Angel Oak Mortgage is a publicly traded real estate finance company focused on acquiring and investing in first lien non-QM loans and other mortgage-related assets in the U.S. mortgage market. It is not financially connected to Angel Oak Mortgage Solutions. For more on these and all of today's top stories, go to MortgageNewsNetwork.com.